Four years ago, grabbing this sneaker for retail would have been impossible, but now everyone and their mama has copped the pair at a retail price. Watch me unbox, reveal stock numbers, review, and check out this dope on-feed footage with the sunset in the background, and let's find out if the Jordan 1 Low Mocha deserves the hype. Yo, all right, ah, we got a banger this time. Let's do what we always do at first, a little unboxing. I show you the box, you look at it and you go, ah, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, we got the tag number right there. Size nine and a half. Okay, so the box is, yeah, pretty cool. Not the regular shoe, shoe box. It is in the black, dark mocha colorway. Yep, nothing too fancy, but yeah, still a little bit different. And uh, let's do the unboxing. You ready? Okay, let's do it. Oh, <laughs> that was a disappointment. Let's pull it up. Bang. Ooh. Yeah, it's a banger. So yeah, of course, this is the Jordan 1 Low Mocha OG. Nothing really OG about it. I don't know why it says OG, but yeah, maybe it sells better. These released on September 21st for a retail price of $140. In some parts, they were actually sitting. I uh, tried to get them on the sneakers app. I didn't win. I tried to get them on the sneakers and stuff. I didn't managed to get them there as well but uh seems like i am the only person who paid resale for these babies because i paid 225 dollars on the secondary market which is not that crazy because you know this is a very classic colorway in a couple of years back these would have been worth a lot more but still a bummer that i didn't manage to secure them for retail but hey it's a dope sneaker i have a youtube channel i gotta do what i gotta do right but uh yeah seems like i am literally the only one who played resale for these please let me know in the comments are you also like me did you pay resale how much did you pay if you pay for retail i don't want to know don't write that in the comments you're just gonna piss me off but yeah, $225 is what I paid. But uh, let's take a look at how scarce this sneaker actually is. If you've been following me, you know we like to talk about stock numbers. And uh, this sneaker has interesting stock. Okay, so let's just pull it up. Okay, so this is the stock numbers for the EU UK sneakers app. The global stock number is of course a lot higher, I'm assuming, because everybody and their mothers and their pets and their neighbors got them for retail except me, so this is only EU UK, right? Let's reveal the exact stock number size by size. 33,941 pairs in EU UK on the sneakers app. So again, that's not counting all the retailers. I don't know how many pairs are in circulation right now, but this is what we had almost 34,000 on the sneakers app. They always put the majority of the stock right on the app, of course, because they want to sell it directly to the customers. So this is what we had. My size, which is nine and a half on the Jordan 1 Lows is 43. So that's nine and a half US and 4,624 pairs. So not that many. If you see the number, this is the entire freaking EU and UK, only 4,624 pairs. That's why I'm pissed that I didn't get them. And what's even crazy is that these were selling below retail, but seems like not anymore. Let me check. Okay. Hmm. 258 pounds 240 pounds was the last okay so it's not ah i don't feel that bad actually for paying 225 dollars they have increased in price eh, look at that anyway besides the adult sizing they also released uh kids sizing and for kids we had 1306 pairs so not that many. If you are a psycho dad who wants to buy his baby some Jordan 1 Lowe's mochas, we had baby sizes 
1,291 pairs. So if you're crazy enough to buy your baby a dope sneaker that he's gonna outgrow he or she in a two weeks, if you wanna waste your money, then you had a slim chance of buying one of those for retail, 1,291 pairs. Yeah, who buys? hype sneakers to their babies that that is insane anyway these were actually sitting in us if um if i remember correctly please let me know in the comment section were these sitting at maybe at your retailer i know they weren't sitting on the sneakers app but let me know if they were sitting on some of the stores and also i think they were sitting in uk also on some of the stores and i also saw on sneakers and stuff for restock or maybe leftovers that they had that they loaded up after i purchased mine so i actually had a chance to grab these for retail but uh it was already too late i already bought mine from a dude shout out to the guy who sold me these but yeah man it's a dope sneaker of course you know travis made this colorway popular let's not pretend like let's not pretend like he didn't like the high mochas is probably the one that did it first right but also the regular mochas, the Jordan 1 hides, it is a dope colorway. But yeah, he's the one, in my opinion, Travis made it really, really popping. And uh, like I'm saying, like a couple of years back, these would have been, god damn, these would have been like $400 on the secondary market. It is insane. But yeah, you saw the box. This is the sneaker. Not much to say. I mean, it is what you expect from this colorway very easy to wear you got nothing special no little easter eggs you got the air jordan branding on the back and of course you got the new buck cut right here a little bit of the shoe is new buck the leather paneling feels very nice so the leather feels really really good you got the long nylon tongue as well with Nike with the Nike Air branding on top. Sail midsole. And of course the classic traction that they use on Jordan 1s. It's a very cheap insole inside. I don't want to take it out. I hate doing that, but yeah. The Nike swoosh is also in leather. Very comfortable if you haven't tried the Jordan 1 Low. These, there, there are some batches that are not that comfortable, but these uh, are really comfortable true to size. You can go true to size as well. And very easy to match. Like you can just put these on with whatever and it looks really dope. The only bad thing, negative thing that I have to say about these is the lack of extra shoelaces. Like they increase the retail price, but then they take away the small things like extra shoelaces because I saw some images of people swapping laces for sale laces and it just gives this sneaker like 10 extra points. It looks a lot better than these blacks that the shoes arrive in and it's not that hard to include extra shoelaces. Jordan Brand and Nike has done it on non-hype colorways so why not do it on these i think that was like this is my main problem with this sneaker other than that nothing to complain about except the price that i paid <laughs> but uh these are solid looking very crispy very good i like these also something that i really really care about is that they're comfortable these are very comfy and the more you wear them they look better when you scuff them and they become more comfortable over time that is a huge plus for me because you know us sneaker youtubers we wear a lot of sneakers because of the channel and you know there's a lot of sneakers that i don't wear that i like because they're not that comfortable i'm gonna wear these no problem the only problem is i live in sweden and winter is coming and uh yeah I might ruin these pretty quickly, but yeah, this is the sneaker in its full glory, looking really, really dope, really happy to own these. I always um, 
reveal at the end if I'm gonna keep them or if I'm gonna sell them or return them to Nike. I'm keeping these, of course. You can tell by the way I'm talking about it, by the way I'm looking at this beauty, I'm definitely keeping these. But most importantly, I wanna know your opinion. Do you like these? Did you cop them? Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Thank you for following this channel. Uh, as always, thank you for watching the entire video and I'll see you on the next one.